The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild overall had a pretty disappointing soundtrack, but there are some really good themes in the game. In this video, I will be counting down my list from my top 10 Breath of the Wild themes. Of course, this is my personal list, so your list may differ. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10, Varuda Battle. One of my favorite moments in the game was attacking Varuda before you actually enter it. The music was great and fit the moment so well. The orchestration was also top notch. Number 9, Kakariko Village. I was kind of hoping that this Kakariko Village theme would be a remix of the classic Kakariko Village theme we've heard in Ocarina of Time. But Breath of the Wild's Kakariko Village theme was great as well. It's very catchy. Number 8, Hatino Village. Hatino Village was one of my favorite areas in the game. It's such a peaceful place to go to. More peaceful than Kakariko Village, which I didn't expect. I am in love with the theme of Hatino Village. It sets the tone so well, and I tend to go to Hatino Village just to hear this theme. Number 7, Rito Village. The only theme that comes close to being as peaceful as Hatino Village is Rito Village. Another one of my favorite areas in the game. One thing that I love especially about this theme is hearing the Dragon Roost Island theme. Number 6, Main Theme. Breath of the Wild's main theme may in fact be my favorite main theme out of the 3D Zeldas. One thing about this particular main theme is it doesn't sound like a theme that would come from a Zelda game, but that is perfectly fine. Number 5, Van Mado. My favorite dungeon in the game has a very good theme. It sounds cheerful, but also like something really sad has happened. It also fits the temple so well. One may argue though that it sounds very repetitive, but I did not have a problem with that. Number 4, Varuda. Almost tied with Va Mado for my favorite dungeon theme, but Vavruda just barely beats it. 
It is downright creepy. In fact, one of the creepiest themes in the whole series. Like something that used to be good is now corrupted with darkness. Number 3, Zora's Domain. The classic Zora's Domain theme we've heard from Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess returns to Breath of the Wild, and Breath of the Wild Zora's Domain theme is the best of them all. Zora's Domain is one of my favorite areas in the game, and the best Zora's Domain of the three. I really wish, however, the theme was played louder. It took me a while to notice that this was even a remix of the original Zora's Domain theme. Number 2, Molduga Phase 2. The second phase of this battle was much better than the first phase. It is very fast paced and fits the battle so well. Mulduga reminded me of Mulgera in Wind Waker, which also had a good theme. Before I get to my favorite Breath of the Wild theme, here are some themes that didn't quite make my list. Number 1, Hyrule Castle. The last area in the game has such a good theme, it's no doubt my favorite Hyrule Castle theme in the series. Take Ballad of the Windfish, Wind Waker Hyrule Castle, Ganondorf, Hero of the Winds, Tall Tall Heights, and Zelda's theme all into one and you have Breath of the Wild's Hyrule Castle theme. This is no doubt my favorite area in the game, I can't describe how well this theme fits the area. I apologize if this video seemed kind of rushed, but that is my list for my top 10 themes in Breath of the Wild. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.